attach the pictures that I was using as reference to this video. So, um, well, what I'd seen on my fellow YouTubers' video is you rotate the engine until this mark and that dowel are at the same angle as the uh, as the uh, as the piston. So they'll be off to your right a little bit. So you're looking directly at it. It's up, and they're both facing. The same angle as what your uh, what your uh, uh, cylinder deck would be pointing at, and they're facing up. And that one, see that, and that are also facing up at approximately the same angle as your cylinder head deck would be. Uh, what I also saw by accident here was. Uh, a reference mark in the engine. Um, yeah, that's a handy dandy little tidbit. I wish the Haynes manual would have had that. So uh, you'll, I lined that up. Actually, I found that by accident after I'd, I'd kind of moved everything uh, to where the both sets of cams were uh, in a, the correct position. Um, I had looked and was and was inspecting everything very closely when I found that little mark there. There's one on the uh, right hand bank, and then there's the other right there, look at that. So those are in line with the dowel, mark and mark, and those two marks, and your uh, cylinder or uh, crankshaft keyway, your crank, your crank balancer keyway serves as its own reference mark and there's another reference mark in the back of the cover that's your mark number one TDC so that tells me and after I would rotated this engine I don't even know how many fucking times by hand uh, looking for these colored links that are apparently exist I found one uh, wherever the hell it is. I'm not even sure where it is now. It's MIA. Let's see if we can find it. That's one I colored myself because I thought it was a different color than the others, but it wasn't. Where's that colored link? It's fucking yellow. There was only one. Oh, there it is, right there in front of my face. Right there. That is the one colored link that this chain had. Uh, they were telling me in the manual there's supposed to be three, and you roll the engine over until uh, those marks correspond with that alignment mark right there in the sprocket. And there are alignment marks in all three sprockets. I couldn't find the other two colored links, so I was really gra glad I uh, I stumbled upon that fella's YouTube channel and that video about timing this VQ because that is handy dandy. So uh, in addition to being very careful that you don't disturb uh, the camshafts or the crankshaft when the timing chain is loose, um, it's always a good idea to verify your timing. I've done that here. So we're good there. Good there. And we're good there. And can't really get straight on it. Maybe it'd be better if I... And we're good 
there. So I don't think that's a tooth off. I'm going to pull this bolt and get a better look just to make sure I didn't bump the crank or anything stupid by accident, make sure that it's pretty straight on. So I think we're good. I've rotated the engine, oh, I don't know, probably a dozen fucking times, if not more, probably more, and uh, hadn't felt any piston valve uh, collision <laughs> or anything out of the ordinary other than a little bit of compression leak by which is normal, 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 normal. When you have the oil pan off and you're rotating an engine slowly by hand, it is totally normal to hear some air hissing. So uh, if you're doing this and you hear that little bit of air hissing, don't panic. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd uh, include that in this little video here. So I'm just gonna remove that bolt and make sure that that is actually dead on, but it, it looks like it's totally dead on. So perfect. Hold the balancer bolt out of the end of the crank and just have a gander at that. I don't know about you guys but that looks pretty fucking dead on to me. And then we have both our camshafts facing up and I'd say that that's about as close as we're ever going to get it, eh? And I think we got the same thing back here. That is fucking brilliant. So shout out once again to Turo's FM channel. And, uh, yeah, thank you big time for doing that little display on the camshafts there. Quite happy about that. Quite happy that nothing came out of time. Um, I think we're golden. I think we're golden. Perfect. makes me nervous. Look at that. Hey, no ticking, no nothing. Your uh, alternator light is on because the alternator is not hooked up. But it running, it's purring like a kitten. Listen to that. Just the way God intended. Isn't that beautiful? I increased down a little bit, but that's normal. Not even so much as a fucking tick or a hesitation, J Man. How do you like that? No check engine light or fuck all, I don't think. Nope, nothing. Nice exhaust pitch. It sounds fuck of a lot better than it did. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah, throttle response is fucking instant. 